Hello and welcome to On My Bookshelf. It has been a little while since I've done an episode of On My Bookshelf, but I have been busy over the last few weeks stocking that bookshelf there behind me full of lots of new and exciting books that I'll be sharing with you over the next few weeks. But in this episode, we're going to be looking at Dolomiti Dreamscapes by Sam Gregory. If you've been watching On My Bookshelf for some time, you know I had a look at Sam's previous book, Mesozoic, and I was a big fan of this book. I really enjoyed it. So when I heard that Sam was releasing his second book and needed no further encouragement, I went straight to his website and ordered one. I was actually lucky enough to meet Sam at this year's photography show, and he was kind enough to hand deliver my copy of his book to me. But it also gave me an opportunity to listen to Sam talk at the photo speed stand. He went on to talk about how he has such a very strong connection with Italy, and for several years now he had been inspired to create a book about the Dolomites. But Sam also wanted to avoid those cliched shots and produce something unique and personal, and that's exactly what he's done with this book, Dolomiti Dreamscapes. And in case you're wondering, like I was, Dolomiti is Italian for Dolomites. First of all, let's take a look at the physical characteristics of this book. It is a soft cover book, it measures 220 millimeters by 185 millimeters, and it contains 30 photographs organized into three collections of 10 images. More interesting though is the green credentials of this book, something that Sam was keen to highlight both in this title and his previous book. The paper for this book all comes from a sustainable source and is recycled, and even the ink toner has eco-friendly credentials. In fact, the whole book can be recycled. Let's talk about the content of the book. As you might tell from the inclusion of the word dreamscapes in the title of this publication, the images are a little bit different. The photographs are all composites, comprising of many layers, all uniquely blended to give the final result. While the images are still abstract, you can still clearly pick out the elements that have been used to make up these composite images. So you can spot things like the wider landscape and all the way down into the more intimate shots that have been used to capture photographs of things like rock and ice. By capturing images with strong graphical elements and then over time developing a process to uniquely blend them together to produce these dreamlike images is fascinating. But to be honest, as interesting as the process of creating these photographs is, it's the end result that counts. So the question I always like to ask in these episodes of On My Bookshelf is, is this a book for your bookshelf? Well, I think it is, but let me tell you why I like it so much. First of all, I'm a fan of photography. I just love reading photography books. But more than that, I love photography books that challenge my view or my personal view on what constitutes a landscape photograph. And as well as these images being very visually appealing, they're a great lesson on structure, contrast, graphical elements, and composition. But more importantly than that, they're a great lesson on how to produce a body of work that has your own personal style. I also love the abstract dreamlike quality of these images. They're not so abstract that you can't identify elements. I and mean, as you scan through these photographs, you can spot things like birds, trees, fences, and even mountains. But the really exciting thing about the photographs in this book is that you're rewarded every time you come back and look at them again. Each time you look at one of those photographs, you'll spot something different, or it will invoke a memory or a feeling. And to be honest, isn't that what looking at photographs should be all about? And while this is very much a personal collection of Sam's photographs, I'm very glad he's decided to share it with us. And it's for those reasons why I think that this book should be a book for your bookshelf. If you'd like to buy a copy of Dolomiti Dreamscapes by Sam Gregory, you can do so directly from his website. But do hurry, this uh, book has had a limited production run of just 200 copies. So if you do want to get a copy, there's a link for it in the video description below. I do hope you have enjoyed this episode of On My Bookshelf. Like I said at the start of this episode, I've got a bunch of new books on my bookshelf there, so there's going to be plenty of new fresh episodes coming up over the next weeks and months. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss one of those, remember to click on that subscribe button, click on the bell icon as well. But if you can't wait, I have done well over 30 episodes of On My Bookshelf. Some of them filmed here, some of them filmed out on location, and some of them even with the authors themselves. So do check out the On My Bookshelf playlist, which is in the corner of the screen just now. But until the next episode, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.